hey how's everybody doing this is Tim uh, coming back at you another uh, list wire video I think the last time we uh, we talked about uh, adding your uh, follow-up messages real quick uh, I said we'd go into broadcast messages but uh, just want to talk about some of the stats you see right here on it it's just your open rate the percentages of people's opened your email and, and remove rate uh, I really haven't had a lot of experience with that. It's most of mine have stayed zero, but I'm assuming when somebody uh, unsubscribed or something of that nature. And over here, you've got the percentage and all that, and you can always uh, pull up the stat. Let's, let's pull up one right here. And as you can see, yeah, it's got the open rate and how many was opened, how many sent, and clicks and sends right here that's pretty some pretty good info for you but uh let's uh let's go back into broadcast messages for for a moment all right you know you got your broadcast message i don't know if i went over in the follow-up messages but you know you can uh you got these sort of stuff or codes you can use them if you want to have their first name or full name put in automatically or whatever date so that so you can play around with that it's pretty much the same thing down here in the body of the email but uh you know you can pretty much write your email and it's like i said you have plain text and html or both or however you want to do that and right here this is my email <laughs> if you guys want to send me an email sometime just go right ahead love to hear from you but uh in any case it'll be your email there and you can send a test mailing or you can choose here and send a broadcast only to prospects currently receiving follow-ups. And you can send it to people who's not receiving follow-up. Or you can send it to all prospects currently linked to the particular autoresponder. Or you can come down right here and, and send it to uh, every, uh, every broadcast on all your autoresponders you have set up. Like right there, you can see all mine I have right here. I could just just tick each one of them. I could come down. And I, you can schedule it for whatever you want it scheduled, or you can uh, have it sent as soon as possible. And right here, you can uh, actually link it up to your Twitter and your Facebook accounts. What will happen there when you send out a broadcast? It'll like automatically put a post on your wall on your Facebook or a tweet on your Twitter, and it'll be a link to the actual email to pull up and they can read and click on the links and it's a great tool to have you know social media is uh it's the way to go these days you know most emails really don't get open like they should just like you seen from my stats earlier and uh you can come here and uh click on completed broadcast yeah you can see the broadcast you sent out you might want to look at the stats on them the same way like I showed you earlier with the follow-ups but I'm not going to go all the way into that and then over here you got your uh, verification message give it a minute yeah there it is and what that is is just when people sign up your list it's the email that they get to confirm their uh, to confirm that they signed up with you to confirm that they want to receive your email you know and you can uh this is actually the default down here but you can actually add your own up here but just be sure don't put no links already this is for it's just to uh confirm it you know and you can just say hi or welcome or uh or whatever you think you want to say but don't put no links in it or, you, or the system will see it as spam and you might get kicked out of the list wire all right or well, before, before I move on, you don't even actually have to put this. You can just use the default here. And it'll, it'll send this part right here to their email address. But me, I kind of prefer putting a little welcome message of my own. Kind of welcome them to my list, if you know what I mean. All right. Let's go to replication. I really haven't done a lot with this, but we'll, we'll give it a look either way. Yeah, you can actually replicate it. You can actually read it up here. Allow you to copy follow-up messages and all that from another account holder. 
and had them added in. It might be pretty good for a JV, I guess. But uh, you can play with that and see what you think. Now, uh, I know you've seen Home again. Let's take a look one more time. Yeah, you know, you can come here on daily or whatever. You can see how many sign-ups you've got last 24 hours. You can see i got a lot of listed. I'm really not active in promoting this social networking is one I promote quite a bit. And, uh, it's just, alright, I guess that's a, about it for today. I don't want to make this video too long for you. So, uh, we'll just do, uh, we'll just call it right here for today. And stay tuned for next time, uh, for my next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh i'll leave a link below if you're not a member of blissware already you can sign up for a free account and it's awesome uh it's the best free autoresponder that i've found online anywhere so uh so uh shoot me some comments and tell me what you think of the videos uh, i'd like to hear from you and be sure to uh stay in contact and if you have any questions just let me know but I'll be posting some more videos here in the near future, so uh, until then, have a great one.